Hi all, this is Professor Disha Shukla and I am conducting the subject wireless communication and today's topic is about types of wireless communication system. Now there are different wireless systems that you have been using all around and some of them have been categorized based on whether they are a paging system, whether they are cordless systems, whether they are cellular systems etc. So that is basically the topic today that is types of wireless communication. But before starting that, let's discuss some of the terms that are related to it. The first one is base station, that is BS. It is a fixed or a non-moving station used for radio communication with the mobile station. Mobile station, a station in the cellular radio service that is intended for use while in motion at an, at an unspecified location. That is a mobile station is a cellular radio service that is intended for using that is in motion that is the mobile devices that you use are called the mobile stations. The next is control channel. The radio channels used for transmission of the information from the base station to the mobile station or vice versa are called the control channels that is whenever a system is used or a mobile is used and when a communication occurs between the base station and the mobile station the channels that are used for that the radio channels are called the control channels the next is forward control channel that is the FCC the radio channels used for transmission of the information from the base station to the mobile station are called the forward control channels and the radio channels that are used for transmission of the information from the mobile station to the base station that is the reverse of the forward control channel are called the reverse control channel. Moving on, mobile switching center that is the MSC. The center which is set up for coordinating the routing of the calls also called as the mobile telephone switching office. That is the mobile telephone switching office are called the mobile switching centers. It is particularly a center which is set up for coordinating the routing of the calls that is whenever a call arrives where is it to be routed that is decided or coordinated from the MSC. The next is handoff. It is a process of transferring a mobile station from one base station to other base station where a mobile station is moving that is whenever a mobile station is moving and if it needs to be transferred from that is if it needs to be connected to a base station that is from one base station to the another base station because it is mobile so it needs to be connected from one base station to another based on its nearness from the base station this process is called handoff the next is pager a brief message which is broadcasted over the center service area by many base stations simultaneously are called the pager Mobile. Any radio terminal that could move during the operation is mobile. Portable. Handheld and that are used at a walking speed are called the portable devices. A subscriber. A mobile or a portable user is a subscriber. Classifications of the radio transmission system. The radio transmission systems are basically classified into three types. That is a simplex system, a half duplex system and a full duplex system. A simplex system is something wherein the communication occurs only in one direction. That is only that is a sender will transmit the data towards the receiver but the receiver does not send back the data. A classic example of simplex system is the television. Television transmits the data in one direction. The receiver does not send the data back. The next type is half duplex. Sa the radio channels that transmit for both transmission and reception, I mean this kind of a communication system will be used for transmitting the data from the both side but only one of it can talk at a time. That is whenever a sender is sending a data, the receiver cannot initiate the transmission. And when the receiver is sending the data, the sender cannot send the data. That is, at a time, one user can send the data. And the example for a half duplex system is a walkie talkie. The third type is full duplex. That is, simultaneously radio transmission and reception both is done. 
that is the mobiles that we use right now that is both the sender and the receiver can send the data at a time frequency division duplexing uh, uses two different radio channels that is the forward channel and the reverse channel that is again the base station to the mobile user is called a forward channel and the mobile user to the base station is called the reverse channel whereas time division duplexing shares a single radio channel in time now the types of wireless communication systems can be divided into such kinds that is the paging system the cordless phone system the cellular phone system a remote controller a handheld walkie talkie and a wireless lan so the first one is paging system it is the conventional paging system it sends the brief message to a subscriber modern paging system uses like the news headlines or the stock quotations or the faxes etc are some of the examples of paging system it simultaneously broadcasts the paging messages from each base station that is all the base station can transmit the paging message at a time large transmission power is used to cover the wide area if you want to cover a large area then you would you then you need a large transmission power in a paging system the next system is the cordless system a cordless system are the full duplex communication system the first generation cordless phone are the in home use communication to dedicated base unit and few tens of meter that is whenever a send uh, a particular call is initiated from the mso that is the mobile switching center then that particular call is initiated to the base unit a base unit is something that is connected to the msc using the dedicated lines or the cables and the base station or the base unit that we have of a cordless system will again further communicate to the to the uh, mobile unit that we have and for the second generation cordless phones we have the that can be used in outdoors it combines both the paging system and it has provides a uh, communication for a few hundred meters per station the third type is the cellular telephone system it provides a connection to the pstn for any user location within the radio range of the system its characteristics are large number of users large geographic area limited frequency spectrum and the reuse of the radio frequency by the concept of a cell basic cellular systems are like are divided are comprised of a mobile station a base station and a mobile switching center that is a mobile station is is provided i mean all the base station has a number of mobile stations and each base station is controlled by a mobile switching center the communication between the base station and the mobile is defined by a standard common air interface called cai that is the first one being the forward voice channel the voice transmission is done from the base station to the mobile the reverse voice channel in this the voice transmission is done from the mobile to the base station the forward control channel initiating the mobile call from the base station to the mobile and the reverse control channel initiates the mobile call from the mobile to the base station the other types are the wireless lan that is the wireless lan is something wherein we create a whole lan lan network but it is uh, it is working wirelessly the walkie talkies that we have are the half duplex systems so these are the different types of systems that we have different types of communication systems that we have if you have any questions you can ask thank you